Now, when Nick Clegg became Deputy Prime Minister, there was widespread speculation that he'd stand down if the party didn't return to power. But today, the Lib Dem leader declared he wants to remain in charge of the party for the next six years, whether or not they're in government. His speech to the party's spring conference was full of references to Europe, as our political correspondent Michael Crick reports. Lib Dems trust this gathering in ancient old York will be a springboard, reviving yellow hopes for the polls in May. The Liberal Democrats have taken a big gamble, distinguishing themselves as a party by standing up for being in Europe. Hence Nick Clegg's decision to debate head-to-head -head later this month with the UKIP leader Nigel Farage, though his attack began here. An ungenerous, backwards-looking politics has emerged in Britain. The politics of blame has found an acceptable face. It wears a big smile, looks like someone you could have a pint with down the pub. <laughs> so I'm drawing the line, a line in the sand. I'm going to defend the tolerant and modern Britain we love, and I'm going to start by showing people what's at stake in the upcoming European elections. Do you want Britain in Europe or out? That's the real question in May. People don't want anger and bile, he said, but jobs and hope. We will live up to our greatest traditions by keeping Britain engaged, outward facing, a heavyweight in Europe and a leader in the world. If this sounds like the Britain you want, the Liberal Democrats are the party for you. Between now and the election, my aim, our aim, is to build a coalition bringing together all of the liberal-minded, liberal-hearted men and women who love the Britain we love and who want a party prepared to fight for it. That's the only coalition I care about. But his speech was overshadowed a bit by speculation as to whether Clegg would quit as leader if his party lost power next year. We're eventually told Clegg plans to stay till at least 2020 in or out of government. So will his Europe gamble help? Nick Clegg has just made a speech saying that the Liberal Democrats have got to boldly show that they're for staying in Europe. And I wonder whether that would make you more likely or less likely to vote Liberal Democrats? Um, probably less likely. <laughs> I don't think we've got enough employment to take Europeans, more Europeans on. So now they're going all out to stay in the European Union. Well, that's that might, that might appeal to you. It would appeal to me greatly because I think there's a lot of nonsense talked about it. The Eurocrats can be a pain in the backside, but that's nothing to do with the fact that Europe has been good and I would hate to see that the free movement of people, goods, services, etc. curtailed. This was one of Nick Clegg's best ever speeches as Liberal Democrat leader, leaving his party activists in good heart. It was simple, it was bold, it was risky even. But perhaps with the Liberal Democrats doing so badly in the polls, he needed to take a bit of a risk. Michael Crick, Channel 4 News, York.